What? How, how would you rank your Raj Kumar Harani films for, in terms of your favorites? Well, you know, you kind of know the answer to that. So is it Three Idiots or is it PK first? It's PK first. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. It's PK, Three Idiots? I mean, obviously Three Idiots is the first one and that has a little bit of a deeper impact. So but of PK the two, is first for you. PK is first. And is it Three Idiots or Munabai after that? It's Three Idiots and then Munabai. And then Munabai? Yeah. And then Sanju or Munabai 2? Probably... Mm. They're 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 pretty close. I'd give the edge to Munabai too. What about you? What's your? Oh, it's completely your... different than yours. Three idiots, then Munabai, yeah. then PK, then Sanju, Sanju and then, then Munabai, Munabai too. too. Yeah. It would be mine. Yeah. Hopefully, Dunky will surpass them all. I hope so. You always hope that. Of course. Who knows? Rooting for him and and SRK. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid racks. I'm Corbin. Namaste, bitches. Can you see it? There it is. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to your support on Patreon. Follow us Twitter account, subscribe, like button. Today we have another uh, best ever food review show. Oh, great. This is another one he dropped just yesterday. But this is India's five deadliest street foods. Now, is it deadly because it's spicy or is it deadly because it's going to give you the poops? Or kill you. Yeah. Why would you eat something that would kill you? That would be, that's my opinion. People do it. Yeah, that's true. People do it. I saw somebody recently who died. Because they ate that, whatever that fish is that you have to be prepare perfectly or if you, if it's undercooked or whatever, you, and the guy died. So was it worth it? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, anyways, but this is another one of his that he, he narrates. So I'm guessing he, the, cool. I think in order to get more content out, I think that's, that's the strategy. But it's, it's, it's a, it's good strategy and well I like, done. I like his content. So it's, Me too. Uh, I like it, uh, even though I, I I prefer seeing him because I, I think he's a funny guy. Yeah, but like his his now. team does such a good job putting the stuff together. But uh, so, let's just get great. into this. Here we go. Deadliest. Yeah, I want to see. Uh, uh, do you think, I think Flaming Pawn is going to be in there just for kicks. No. Yep, I think so. In this episode, really poor Calcutta's heart-stopping junk foods laden with sugar, fat, and oil. Just like my mom. Walks the fine line between delight and dangerously unhealthy. But first, let's back up. Hallelujah! This cuisine characterized by the influences from its multicultural population, as well as its wide range of iconic sweets and seafood dishes, form the perfect foundation for crafting the most irresistible high-calorie temptation. This culinary visionary who combines Red Bull and chicken kebabs into a surprising burst of flavor. People might find it very bizarre. I do. Especially once you come down over here, you'll be blown away. To this deep fried creation with enough oil to kill a French fry's dream of ever becoming a potato again. <laughs> oh, I wish my bride was here so she could see this. Embark on the most over the top junk food tour of Calcutta. I wonder if Indrani knows about. Oh. with an Indian gourmet experiment. A whole grilled chicken stuffed with tikka kebabs, grilled eggs, and melted cheese. Brace yourself for layers of pure opulence. Oh, baby, don't cry. Don't cry. Oh, my you goodness. Chicken, you can have this uh, at plenty of places, but ours is special because of the ingredients we use. Plus, we add a mix of spices that makes the taste a little different from any other places. And the Never seen anything like that. The feeling, the stuffing. Uh -oh. that makes it complete dish. Tandoori chicken, everyone knows. Afghani chicken, everyone knows. But the combined mix of the tandoor flavor of the wow. kebabs and I'd the eat it. flavor. And then you just shove the whole thing in your mouth. Makes it a balanced dish in terms of flavor, in terms of taste, in terms of everything. Begin by scoring the entire chicken, ensuring for maximum flavor penetration. Ani's good at scoring chicken. Then season it with salt and ginger garlic paste, followed by hung curd, a type of thick strained yogurt. Uh. Top that with a secret marinade made from cashew and melon seeds. And finally, a few drops of fresh cream, a dairy product made from a mixture of heavy cream and buttermilk. <laughs> The stuffing, tikka kebabs, made from diced chicken breast, seasoned with tikka masala and boiled eggs, marinating in coriander, mint, and a green chili blend. That thing is so seasoned, you know how that... When the chicken is ready, coat it with even more fresh cream. It's a banger! 
the bill. Stuff the chicken with the tikka kebabs and sprinkle it with more tikka seasoning. Then a drizzle of pepper sauce followed by the eggs, cheese, and a final touch of fresh cream. Wrap it up and grill until it all melts together. And if you have any doubts, just give it another round of torture. Ah. Oral. Wow. The cheese burst at Afghani Chicken delivers a mouth-watering blend of creamy Afghani spices, decadent cheese, and succulent tikka kebabs. Oh, it's my a perfect stars. option for a last meal on death row. Because that's <laughs> all you No better way to go than with a chicken-induced demise. Six bucks for that. Like 40 bucks fried here. Bread generously stuffed with sweet balls made of cheese. A oh, yeah. Stuff me with sweet balls. Every roll I've ever had in Calcutta has been glorious. Oh. The hand rolls are just made from soft, spongy cheese balls soaked in sugary syrup. Yes, this is typical. How are your spongy dessert, cheese balls today, Corbin? No, I was going to ask you. I was like, what about your so wife's roll? <laughs> Sauce made from milk, sugar, salt, and chili oil. While it heats up, prepare the bread. Roll out refined flour dough and throw it on a hot griddle to create a luscious paratha. Uh. Now for the plants. Stir fried capsicum and onion. Fill the bread with the veggies and top them with the rasgulla balls and creamy sauce. The final drizzle of mayo, some grated cheese, and chopped masala. Uh. Uh. That looks b beyond delicious. Oral. Rascula roll surprises with its savory transformation. Crispy paratha enveloping creamy cheese balls, delivering a harmonious blend of textures and tangy, wholesome flavors. 90 cents. Next up, a sweet twist on an Indian classic street food that will leave your mouth bursting with the sweet flavors of rich ice cream and It looks like Oreo. dessert pani puri. is a savory snack popular throughout India. It consists of crispy breaded spheres filled with potatoes, onions, and loads of spices and chutneys. But one day, someone wondered, what would this dish look like if children were in charge? <laughs> then, they actually made it. Start with finely chopped Oreos, which will serve as the main body of this dish. Then create a hole on the top of each ball that will serve as the door Careful. for all this goodness. The Oreo goes in first, followed by chocolate syrup, vanilla ice cream, and even more chocolate syrup Woo! on top. Complete Sugar coma. Shower of rainbow and chocolate This is an American syrup. adaptation of I've yeah, ever seen one. It sure is. Each bite you could make that at home. Ice cream, That's a pretty Oreos, easy do. Decadent chocolate, creating a roller coaster of flavors in your mouth. That's a, that's a good dessert idea at home. Before our next destination, ensure your pacemakers are working properly <laughs> because this spot infuses chicken with Red Bull, a daring culinary shock to the senses. Do you like Red Bull? Yeah. Neither. I don't drink energy drinks. I drink coffee. Uh, Thank you so much, Kebab, on uh, 2nd October I, oh. 2020. So me and my friends went to a particular cafe. So there, they were giving an offer of like, if you get two pieces of kebab, you'll be getting a can of Red Bull free. So while having that particular dish, I thought of why not make a fusion of both the things and introduce that Red Bull. My brother to used to be a monster fiend. Really? Place. Yeah. I don't like that either. Yeah. He, he, he's just, just nasty, nasty Philippe. Because the the they are terrible for you. That that horrific. Funny. Like, oh my god, how can this red bull be added to this kebab and all? But trust me, once you come down over here, have this kebab, you'll be grown away. This is my guarantee. Oh my kebab. But I would try that. Oh yeah. I mean that's start by chopping. It's not gonna taste like a red bull. Size pieces. For the marinade, mix mustard oil. Do you like your breasts in bite-sized pieces? Korean, green chilies, and red chili powder. And add the spices. Pepper, salt, garam masala, kitchen king spice, fenugreek seed powder, coriander powder, cumin, and chicken tandoori masala. Let everything mingle before adding the star. Do you think the Indians like the spices? Red. I think so. Thoroughly coat the chicken before stirring it into kebabs and adding them to the grill. 
I think that's why Indian food became so popular in England. Because when they got there, they thought, we need to have our food here because the food here is so bland. That looks really, really good. I don't know about the Red Bull infusion, but... Smoky, zesty flavors, so it's just poured over the top? ...and a subtle caffeine kick. A truly unique and electrifying experience. I'd taste it. Yeah, different for yeah, sure. I would taste it. Prepare for an extravagant fried fish creation covered in record-breaking layers of batter that will give you an astronomical amount of crunch. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, I want to try that just by those pictures. That's so interesting. Is a Bengali street food with deep fried fish coated in crispy egg batter, famous for its crunchy texture. That's it's so interesting. Diamond fish fillets coated in coriander leaves, red chili powder, and a secret marinade. What's from diamond fish? Leaves, ginger garlic paste and mustard oil. And Drani would know. And let the flavors penetrate. As the would every Bengali stupid baby in the comments. So so like tuna, is it like and deep fried. Halibut. Give it another dip in an egg wash and fry once more. This time, drizzle the eggs around it, creating crispy strains of eggs. So interesting. What an original idea. And fry roll with fish. Finish by wrapping the egg strains around the fish, creating a deliciously crispy <laughs> shell. That's so cool. Oh. Shell encapsulates the tender, wow, fish with it. it's that a looks dance unreal. Of a masterpiece of deep fried temptation. And now, our exhilarating exploration of deadly junk food comes to an end. Among these five extraordinary courses, which daring delight left the most lasting impression on your palate? Was it the layers of satisfaction in the cheese burst Afghani chicken, or the creative use of a sweet dessert in the rasgulla roll? Perhaps children's dreams do come true in the Oreo ice cream pani puri. Maybe the marriage of chicken and an energy drink in the Red Bull chicken kebab. And don't forget the insane crisp factor in fish kabaraji. If you could only, if you only had the time to do one of them, each dish is which one would you which one would you do which one is at the top of the list for you to try norms and redefining flavor boundaries for more thrilling culinary escapades that will keep your taste buds on the edge of excitement stay tuned and subscribe to best ever food india also shout out to your editing team for the uh, music that they put on there. as always There's some bangers there yep. um the first one I yeah think. the chicken it's the most familiar yeah, I would go for the, the the last one, the egg, the fish, the, the egg, egg fish thing. Yeah, that just looks that looks amazing and so different. Fish always makes you nervous, and I'm uh, not the biggest fan of fry. great shirt. Yeah, fish always makes me nervous, <laughs> and I'm not the I, I I like some stuff, but I'm not the biggest fan of like fried things, especially in general. Deep fried things, yeah, not my. I, I'll eat not them. That, neither am I particularly, but they're they're like sometimes the smell really gets me. I don't fried stuff just because it's. Typically, really unhealthy. It's something. Yeah, it's, that's a, it's, a, it's a it's a treat per se. But, uh, but it looked good. Um, so I would try. I'll, I think I would try. Every I would try one, one of them. One for of them. sure. The uh, the dessert one just looked like an American took the the pani puri shells. Yeah, pani is water. Right. Yeah. So they just or took Joel the, if you're Bengali. They just took the puri. Yeah. And then put ice cream and yeah. Oreos. Yeah. And, uh, what do they call? They call it pani puri anyway in Bengal. I was thinking because Joel is water. Maybe again, Indrani would know. But what was weird to me that the uh, the titled is not what this it's, it's I mistitled. It's just, I think it's just junk food, right? Junk food would have been better than to just say the deadliest foods, but whatever. 
clickbait, buddy. Yeah, clickbait. You gotta, uh, you gotta get those clicks. That's how. That's what's most important to me. Well, if if uh, if I'm sure he doesn't actually run this channel. Yeah. So I'm sure somebody on his team runs this channel, and they it's have, like he- it's they ex- have a job to do. It's the exact same thing with news organizations that create headlines. The headlines are supposed to capture your attention and make you go read the article. Um, so I mean, if you ate this stuff every day, it probably would kill you. It would kill you. Uh, <gasps> in fact, if that was your daily meal in order. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack every day. I think you'd be dead yeah, within within a year. Uh, anyways, that was great as always. Uh, love his videos. Uh, I like that. So I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get more Indian content yeah. from him. Cool. Because looks like they're in K- Kolkata for this strand of videos. And then I bet he has another team working in other cities. And, yeah. And then until he comes back and does his... Because that's a different channel. That's Best Ever Food Reviews. Right, so. right. Which always has ham, and I'm guessing my bet is he has other, like, I bet he has a Korea one, I bet he has a China one, I bet he has, like, a American one. Probably. Um, probably his goal, I'm sure, is to do everywhere in the world. Smart. Yeah. Why not? Uh, anyways. Do it. Let us know what you thought about the video, if you've had any of these. Please yeah. let us know, and other food videos we can react to down below. Just-